Okay, so on the inverse, who would you say, you got three seconds to answer, is the greatest Three roster? seconds to answer? Greatest, just Mike like, Tyson. Mike Tyson. Or Mike Muhammad Tyson. Ali. Muhammad Ali. Like Muhammad Ali. But I can't, I didn't really watch it like that. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I've seen the highlights, and they, they're like, the point I'm just saying Mike Tyson would beat me quickest. Yeah. <laughs> he's like 60, and he just, he just walk over to me, and I would just fall away. Obviously, Floyd Mayweather is one of the most talked about recent names in boxing, and his record, of course, is 51-0-0. He's never taken a loss, never taken a draw, and in the modern era, I think Sports Center ranked him as one of the top 100 athletes of, as he should be. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> he should be top 10. So I was just, I was just thinking about that point where, like, you become someone new after you lose, or like, his persona was kind of like stretched out for all of these 51 games. And I don't know if that was good for him, bad for him. I mean, at I the end of the day, time. he yeah. was still a, I think it's just a great That's boxer. Mayweather, like, production. Like, TMT. <laughs> his cockiness, bro, like, I feel that's all a part. If he were to lose, like, that wouldn't, like, you know Adrian Broner? Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he didn't beat me. I can beat you right now. <laughs> He's like, what? what do you say? We went seven rounds. I go seven and oh. <laughs> he was like, well, that meat wouldn't mean much, Mr. Broner. <laughs> but, like, like, that right there, like, that's not humility. He In his head, he still won. But if he were to take a loss, or like all the losses that he had, and was like, all right, now I'm humbled, now I can work harder, now I can do this, don't you think he'd be a better player? Yeah, probably. In anime, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I think, yeah, some of that is also that talent. Because like, what, Ronda, I'm being cocky? Yeah, because Ronda could have woken up like, all right, I'm about to get better. And I think she was thinking about that. But she went to the WWE. <laughs> but if that, but before that, that second match, yeah, probably. I don't know what happened. I guess she just, she wasn't thinking with killer mentality or something like that. Eddie, dude, that's that's yeah. beyond me. That's her. She's probably doing great in the WWE. Sure. You know. Hot take, hot take. Is it scripted? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so if you were in it's really scripted, <laughs> if you were in Floyd Mayweather's position, you know, I don't know. Like right now. I don't know how old he is. Life is good. <laughs> On the like beach somewhere. <laughs> like Life <Adam's>. is good. <laughs> so what would happen, say, Ryan Garcia challenged you to a fight? I would say, kid, <laughs> why, why would you take a fight with him? Yeah. Who is he? It's not worth it. Like, yes, 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 he's a really good fighter right now, and he has a belt, right? Yeah. I don't have a belt. Who, Ryan Garcia? You don't have yeah, a belt at all? Well, actually, I'm wearing a belt right now. Uh, good it's team. American Eagle. Uh, <laughs> it's not a championship. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, if you're Floyd Mayweather, and... You fought Manny Pacquiao and all these other dudes, right, who are, like, renowned as, like, some of the best fighters ever. Ryan Garcia is, what, like, 20? 21. 21. I'm 21. And you don't have a belt. He should be, a, like, a junior in college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, on the weekends. I'm not going to fight a junior in college yet. I feel yeah. like he can prove himself. <laughs> you know? I think he still has time to, like, be in that. But he's not Floyd Mayweather. No, he's not. But he's, like, one of the biggest names in right lightweight, now. lightweight boxing, where it's, like, the biggest up-and-coming star. Yeah. And I think if he gets beat, he's gonna be he's gonna be hurt. Yeah, and he's gonna post on Instagram <laughs> with a, a long caption talking about loss and humility. Yeah, who is his uh Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Because his Instagram is all like training, hard work, cute like, pictures, <laughs> gym shark sponsorship. <laughs> Doing one of these. Yeah. I just I just don't think it's worth Floyd Mayweather coming out of no. retirement to fight a kid. No. And if he beats his kid, we that went kid's to Japan career, for that. So I guess this kid's career is kinda, kinda <laughs> yeah, downhill. That is, that is, or a forward to get beat. <laughs> then that'll be awkward. He'll lose He'll a like, lot wait, of money. Wait, wait. <laughs> I feel like every single time he boxes, he bets everything. Has to. Would you bet? Would you I'll bet, bet on myself. That's, that's how he made so much money. Is that when bet on yourself? Yeah, he would bet nearly I think half of what he owned on himself, so he would double it by him, by himself winning and going fifty and zero. Mm -hmm. That certainly helps <laughs> any financial situation where you bet on yourself. All right. Mike Tyson versus Silverback Gorilla. <laughs> um, is it just like fist of course? They're, they're, like, they're just they're just in the they jungle. Fish, so they just jungle. Everyone just they were just thrown in the jungle. It's like, like late. It's late night. <laughs> in the Amazon. Mike Tyson somehow got lost from his house. I think that makes sense. I feel like he's done that before. He, he got, got hungry. A yeah. wild silverback gorilla. It just, just happened to be swinging in the bushes. 
Well, where's the a setting? beer in hand? Because I feel like where is the setting? The jungle is way too easy for the group. That's home field advantage. Mike Tyson is a beast. Give it yeah. a neutral position, mm -hmm. at least. Okay, Skidmore College. <laughs> the Martin on the tennis court. <laughs> <laughs> West lot on break. Okay, right. sure. Big old. All right. They're just going hand to hand. Uh, how, much, how much does a gorilla weigh? Tell me that. I think it's that. around 900 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Silverback gorilla weighs. Uh, 350? Oh, we have a Western yeah, and an Eastern gorilla. Right, we'll go Let's go with the Western. Yeah, we'll go All right, the Western is 350. 350? All right. That's, that's far off from what I thought. Mike Tyson is probably two, 250, so 100 pounds. But, bro, are we talking prime Mike Tyson or current Mike, Mike Tyson? Tyson? What? So I feel like I they bet won't you have Mike this Tyson current weight. Like, that would be before. 240. That's yeah. not bad. I'm 5'10, 240. Yo. That's me, 240. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's me right now, except 240. <laughs> and he was that at 19. Football, bro. So, but I don't know. It's 5'6? Okay, like 5'2 to 5'6, 300 to 430 pounds. 5'2. 5'6, he tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Still, that's a lot of punch. I'm looking at uh, that's a lot. Arms, and that's yeah, a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. I don't but know, man. I they can't like really defend that punch. If Tyson like gets him with the right, yeah. that's See, not hit him. A gorilla doesn't know how to get hit. That is they true. Never, <laughs> <laughs> Mike Tyson, uh, the gorilla has never fought Mike Tyson. Yeah. Well, Mike Tyson has never fought the gorilla. Are Inversely. Sure? <laughs> how does this, this is their training camps? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> like, they just go fight gorillas in the jungle. Oh, my goodness. Maybe that's how King Kong got so good. <laughs> <laughs> he just fight Mike Tyson <laughs> in the 80s. If you're tuning in, this is 91.1 FM, Skillboard College Radio, WSPN. Um, Daily Guac. Daily Guac. Mike Tyson versus a silverback gorilla. <laughs> Place so, your bets now. <laughs> so who is your who is your winner? Uh, I think I think the gorilla got this. I've seen gorillas in in real life. You've yeah. been to his training camp. And <laughs> them things are crazy, bro. They'll, I don't know how Jane Goodall was chilling with gorillas for fun, but where where'd you see one? Uh, I went to Rwanda for a bit. Yeah, shout out to Mr. International, <laughs> DJ Manda. DJ Manda. Uh, <laughs> International. Yeah, those things are massive. How close yeah. did you? It, it was like. <laughs> like less than less than like thirteen meters. Yeah, we can say like a, a ruler maybe. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, Forty like, degrees Celsius. Like ten yards maybe. I think that's how it's Ten yards. Yeah. I don't know. I think Mike Tyson might have a chance, bro. If he, if okay, okay, maybe so not a full grown beast. <laughs> like maybe. <laughs> so now we're fighting baby gorillas. No, like maybe maybe the gorillas like like what the human version of like forty two looks like. So he has some gray hairs. He got not the best knees. You know. But like I feel like Mike Tyson. Well, Mike Tyson had a liger. A liger. <laughs> yes, he be wrestling with the liger. Silverback <laughs> gorilla fight. I, I just want for to his see. family. Oh yeah. I mean, actually, to be honest, I'd rather. Yeah, the audio is off on this. I, I think. Um, say, this is this is. Like, this is oh true. my goodness. This is this true. Oh, it's not even fighting. We're watching this video about um, the Omaha Zoo where two gorillas fight each other, and this is. I mean, maybe. Crazy. I think they have quicker speed. Look, if a gorilla gets angry, I think they have the win. I think, but Mike Tyson, ah, oh, man. No, but, like, but that's not form at all. That's just animal instinct. I know. Isn't that crazy? Well, Mike Tyson has animal instinct, too. He's not a human. But he has technique to his punches. He does have technique. I feel like a gorilla would hit Tyson a lot more, but yeah. if Tyson gets the right connection that's with it, one punch, right? right Do you see his reach? That's game. <laughs> Do you yeah, this gorilla's reach is... He got back, too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> Oh my, you saw how he just jumped like that? Yeah, that was easy for him. You think he made a sound like that? He said, Whoa! <laughs> you can see this man's quads. Oh my goodness. How much <laughs> that you gorilla has any deadly. UFC technique and puts him in a headlock. Yo, I think the future, that's what the day, bro. I'm just Kids are going to start being like this? <laughs> no, they're going to gonna get a gorilla from the zoo, bro. They're going to put some, like, pads instead on of, him. Instead of Mike Vick, this is what Mike Tyson does under, <laughs> under his house. <laughs> he just got gorillas <laughs> fighting. Or, no, maybe, like, like <laughs> you know, like, the Colosseum type and, like, ancient, like, Roman Greece. Yeah. Like, I feel like they're going to get animals and just, like, put armor on them and have them fight. <laughs> I think that's what the future holds for. I don't, like, would, would the animals let them put the armor on them? I don't know. I don't know. If they're kind. <laughs> <laughs> Like Caesar from uh, Planet of the Age. Like you say no. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think a gorilla got this. I, I think I'm going on the side of the gorilla. Really? I oh. feel like if if Mike Tyson were to throw a punch, <coughs> it could block it a little easier, and it might just grab his head, and palm it, yeah, and or scratch but, his face off because this is not this is not real boxing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, gorillas do it. Okay. And it might just bite him. <laughs> but Tyson that would do it. Yeah, I'm on the side of natural order, man. 
gorillas. Humans are a natural order too. I know. You, humans are animals. There's something different about the but way struggling the nature life, of a yeah. gorilla is way different from the nature of a human being. Right. Well, like yeah. we have a radio show right now. What do you think they're doing? They're talking on. They could be have. They could have their own radio. They could have their own radio. I'm just. <laughs> we just don't know. It's right. gorilla talk show. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know what their names would be, but I feel like it'd be a fire show. <laughs> they just listen to, like, jungle noises instead of music. <laughs> They're talking deep about, like, lines and stuff. <laughs> like the Gorilla Rihanna. Then <laughs> <laughs> there's a Gorilla Mike Tyson. That's just see, I'm Mike telling Tyson. you, yes, there has to In be. In an inverse world, that's You think there's an animal that can talk? Talk to us? Or just, like, yeah, talk, 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 talk English and, yeah, yeah. or well, whatever language. Like, chimpanzees are, like, the closest thing that... No, a parrot can talk. But not, well, well, it's uh, like repetitive. I was going like, to say that chimpanzees are like at the way of like the way that humans operate and the way we use our like hand functions okay. and like understand a certain task needs to be completed. Yeah. Aren't they like, like if a, a chimpanzee uh, looked at this, I think the first thing they would do is try to screw. Yeah. <laughs> Don't punch <hunt> them. <laughs> <laughs> screw off the top or something like that. Um, Aren't they like ninety six point something close to humans? I don't know. There's like some crazy stat that they're almost humans, mm. but like they're really close. But like, about this talking thing. Yeah. Oh they can communicate with each other, yeah. but I don't know. Probably in the Amazon, there's something out there. That's what I'm saying, bro. There's so many years of evolution. I feel like there has to be an animal that can like say something. Oh, there's like something getting real close. Yes. Like, like, like dolphins using a super. Zona? Yeah, bro. Like, what? <laughs> what? I can't even do algebra. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. Oh. That's crazy. I just looked up the uh, the biggest silverback gorilla ever, and standing at a whopping King six Kong. five. Oh my goodness. His chest. Measures six four. <laughs> and his arm span is what? two point seven meters, which comes out to an eight eight reach. Oh my goodness! That's bigger than any NBA That's player right now. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine. imagine. The league. Yo. <laughs> and he oh weighs what was it? Kilograms. What's his name? Uh, King. King. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, He's jungle. They named everything after him. <laughs> he weighs five hundred eighty eight pounds. Goodness gracious! <laughs> where was where was this gorilla? That's at? a large specimen. Where, where's it from? Uh, where is it just chilling? Where, where is it happening? It's in the Congo. In the Congo. In Penfield. <laughs> <laughs> so potentially, there are in other the of these gorillas just lurking around the streets just walking in around. Congo. Yeah. Do you believe in those myths like the uh, Loch Ness Lake Monster and uh, Bigfoot? Bigfoot, yeah. Godzilla. Um, no, there's one in New Jersey, too. The Jersey Devil. Tasmanian that's, Devil? That's got to be real. No, that's or not. That's from that, this, the Jersey Devil. Tasmanian, yeah. Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> But uh, that, that scared me as a kid. The Yo, stories of like the Pine Barrens. Bro, I went, I went there, right? And on the sign, it was like, "Be careful of this." <laughs> and I was like, "Damn, we gotta get out of here." <laughs> <laughs> like I was kind of shook, but it was cool. We were catching lizards, <laughs> but I was very shook. But I, I do believe those things. Are real.